Hello, it's the Sun Sage, and I am back to do messages from your Divine Masculine. This message will be for those of you connecting to a fire sign Divine Masculine. So if your Divine Masculine is a Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, this will be the reading for you guys. All right, so keep in mind that these are general messages. Um... They may not resonate with all of your stories, all of your situations, but make sure you check out some of the other readings on the channel to see if some of those resonate. Um, I don't usually date the Divine mes Masculine messages because I feel like they are timeless and whenever you hear or see the message is when it was meant to reach you. All right. So I am going to start with the Leo Divine Masculine. So if you are again connecting to someone who is a Leo, Sun, Moon, Venus are rising. These are the messages for you. I'm going to see what it is they want you to know, how they feel about you, um, what they want to say to you, and uh, get some, some uh, deep messages from them, okay? So let's see what's going on with your Leo Divine Masculine. If you are a Leo Divine Masculine, um, these messages could be confirmation of how you feel about your divine counterpart and happy birthday. All right, let's get started. All right, Leo, <clears throat> you have no reason not to trust me. All right. I can't let them go. I'm disappointed how things are between us. No one compares to you. I'm scared it won't work out. <clears throat> and please forgive me. All right. So these are messages that your Leo Divine Masculine wants to come through. I'm going to take a look at the tarot to clarify these messages. So the first message we have is you have no reason not to trust me. I feel like this Divine Masculine is wanting to let you know that they're trust trustworthy, that they're faithful or that they, uh, you know, don't need to want, they don't want you to feel like you have to kind of watch your back when it comes to them or, but I do feel like there are some contradictory messages here. So we're going to see what's going on. You have no reason not to trust me. Well, the Knight of Pentacles is very trustworthy, All right, This is reliability. This is somebody who has the stamina and the patience to go the long haul. And I think that's a message that they want to get through to you is that however long you've been on this journey with this Leo Divine Masculine, they're willing to keep going. You know, they um, may have slowed their pace somewhat. They may have started to put more energy into their career. They may have started to put more energy into family, things that have a foundation already or some sort of stability <clears throat> while still working with you. Um, and so this is why they want you to know that you have no reason not to trust them. All right. This is a very cautious energy. This is earth energy. Some of you could be earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. But I feel like this is letting you know that even if things have slowed down between you and your Leo Divine Masculine, there's still loyalty here. There's still a sense of st uh, stability here <clears throat> that they want you to, to acknowledge. All right. So I'm going to clarify that message. Temperance. Yeah. I feel like they're needing a little bit of patience right now for sure. All right. So they're like, while I'm, you know, doing things to better myself and, and to improve my way of life, I just want you to be a little patient. I just want you to realize that I'm not doing anything that would uh, hurt your trust or anything that we haven't already spoke about. I feel like this person is making it clear that they're just trying to um, have the correct moderation in their life. They may have been somebody who partied all the time at a point in their life and now they've re they're reaching a more mature phase of their life where they're wanting to have more stability and also have more faith with this temperance. I think they want you to have faith in them. All right. So let's see. We have, I can't let them go. I feel like that was a message in the Leo. I don't, 
um, remember, but I feel like it was a message coming through for Leo before. Um, so check out the other Leo messages, but let's see where I can't let them go. There is something that they're holding on to, someone that they're holding on to, something from the past. It feels like, yep, holding on. We have two, nine of wands and ten of wands. All right. So they're definitely holding on to something. They're holding on to guilt. They're holding on to shame. They're holding on to a relationship of their past that was weighing them down. All right. If your person is divorced or they had a breakup before they met you, this connection and the weight of it and everything that went wrong still plays heavily for them. So this nine of wands and this ten of wands shows that the burden is almost over. It's like, don't give up. They're fighting to to release this past energy. They're fighting to release this energy that has a hold over them at this time. Um, this is something that they're working on. And this could also be why they're requiring your patience. All right. But they're holding on. They're trying to let go. They're trying to release this burden. They're at the bottom of the hill. Um, they carry this, this weight with them. And so that has impacted your connection with your Leo Divine Masculine. They're letting you know that at this time, they can't let it go. But I do feel like this Knight of Pentacles and this Temperance assures you that it's something that they're working on. All right, I'm going to clarify that message. Let's see. <clears throat> hangman, uh, hangman, waiting. They know that they need time. They're being patient with themselves and that's why they're asking that of you to be patient with them. They know that they need time to, to get through whatever hardships and challenges they faced in this past relationship or with this connection that still has somewhat of a of a hold on them. They could also be bound to this person that they connected with in the past. They could share children. And so this could sometimes be a struggle for them having to still deal with this person. I don't feel like this is somebody they're currently romantically connected to. I do feel like this is someone or something that has stressed them out for a very long time. Something that has put a lot of the things that they want to do in their life at a halt. Okay. And so, um, again, I feel like that's why that message of patience and you have no reason not to trust me is coming out. I'm disappointed how things are between us. Right. I'm disappointed how things are between us. They're wanting things to be better between you and them. Mm. Hey, man. No communication. All right. So th things definitely have come to a halt between you and your Leo Divine Masculine. But this is also a chance for both of you to see things from each other's perspective. So I do feel like the person who is watching or listening to this message is somebody who lost their patience with this Leo. Um, and then possibly rightfully so, you know, if they're not good at explaining things, if they're not good at being honest, at times you feel like you have to question their motives and things. And so this, this is something that definitely needed a breather. You both needed a breather. You both needed time apart. You both needed this space to kind of see things from each other's perspective. I feel like they're disappointed in the way things are between you because, They've had these epiphanies. They've been enlightened, all right, with this this light energy. They see how things should have been between you guys. They see things that they should have said. They realize things that they should have done. And so I feel like they're having an epiphany now and they're wanting to come forward with that. But things between you guys are very tense at this time. You get that with that nine of wands and ten of wands as well. Clarifying that is the eight of pentacles, more pentacle energy more working hard and mastering the art of, you know, seeing things from, from how you see them. I do feel like this is someone who in the past was not very considerate of your take on things. And, and um, so now they're definitely trying to consider you and consider your feelings more. It may not feel like it to you, but this person is working very hard on that with this eight of pentacles. This is something that they're trying to master so that they can get back in your good graces. All right. Yeah. No one compares to you. They see your value. They know your worth. They understand that um, you're somebody that they want to have in their life long term. 
as slow as they're moving, as, as much as they have going on in their personal life, as far as still being connected to people who they could possibly have no choice but to be connected to. If they are a co-parent, they have to have um, a relationship with their child's parent. And so that could have caused stress in your relationship, but they're letting you know that no one compares to you. Seven of Wands. They're very serious about you with that Seven of Wands. They're, they're very, they stand up for you. They don't have a problem. I feel like they don't have a problem letting people know who you are to them. All right. You represent strength to them as well. You represent strength to them. You represent someone who has balancing, um, you can balance them out. You can balance yourself out. And so I feel like this person knows that you're somebody who's very confident. You stand up for yourself. You speak out for yourself. And, and no one compares to that energy. No one for them. And so you can take a lot of heat when, when challenges are coming at you, when people in your inner circle are coming. I feel like this is more a compliment to you. It feels like this person is complimenting you by saying, I've seen you deal with some of the most challenging things I've ever seen anyone deal with and triumph over that. They also know that you could be, you could have a bit of an attitude, right? You could be a little moody, but that's something that I feel they like about you. All right, let's clarify that message. Knight of Cups in reverse. So when I feel like, with this Knight of Cups in reverse, um, it's almost like they're okay with this connection. They don't want to present an offer to anyone else with that Knight of Cups in reverse. It's like, I'm, I'm, I'm good here with this person. Leo is letting you know that they're good with you. They're satisfied with you. Yeah, it's a little, you know, rocky at times. You guys kind of butt heads, but you're both working on seeing each other's side of the story a little bit differently so that you can come together and have a functioning union. But with this Knight of Cups in reverse, clarifying this Seven of Wands, I feel like they don't think that there's anything they could say good enough to you to, to make you kind of open up to them, right? So this is them having some doubts about how they'll be received if, if they do message you or if they do want to talk to you. Um, this, the, this Knight of Cups in reverse is, can be this, so upright, it can represent someone making a romantic offer, a romantic proposal, having potential and bringing forward a promise. But it feels like you have not been that person to them for some time because of the challenges that you guys have. You're not wanting to make any promises with them right now. And they could feel like you're not very approachable. All right. They could feel like you're not very approachable. They could feel like you even block other suitors. OK, that's why they're saying no one compares to you. Your loyalty is unmatched. You you could block people from talking to you, from wanting to get to know you, because even though you may be angry at your Leo Divine Masculine or frustrated with them, you're not going to dishonor them. Right. And so I'm getting the feeling that they want to match your level of loyalty and honor to this connection with these pinnacle energies. So I'm scared it won't work out. They definitely have a fear that you guys are going to be way too different for each other. They have this feeling that your strength and, and their strength is going to clash. And it could be something that they feel ruins the relationship that you guys have. Page of Swords, you guys can get a little testy with and wordy with each other, right? But this is, um, they're curious to see how things go with you. They are scared it won't work out, but they are curious to find out. This is something that they want to get more information about. I don't, I'm not ready to, to walk away from this connection. I am ready to see what this person needs for a functioning relationship. I am ready to start listening to this person. I, they could be doing their research. They're learning you. They are learning you because they're scared it won't work out. Um, 
they could even be afraid that they don't have enough experience with that page energy. They don't have enough experience with relationships. King of Cups. They love you very much. That's what's behind these meek, mild energies that they are giving off. They love you very much and they want to know more about this love journey. They're afraid of their feelings for you, how intense they are, and they want to know if you feel the same way. They may not know if you still feel the same way about them. Please forgive me. All right. So let's see what this forgiveness is about from your Leo Divine Masculine. Let's see what this is about. King of Pentacles. Please forgive them for maybe being a little selfish and focusing on money and material things, superficial things, being stubborn, putting more into their career, putting more, you know, worrying more about um, superficial worldly things than worrying about the depth of this connection. All right. The King of Pentacles represents family as well. You know, please forgive them. Um, if this is a co-parent situation and your divine masculine is a parent, then I almost feel like sometimes they feel bad that they have to be in a co-parent situation with somebody that makes it difficult. But this is who they are. This is a big part of who they are. It's almost like they're saying, please forgive me for being a father to my children or for being a parent. They, they feel bad about that. Even if that's not something that you want them to feel bad about, it's something that they feel has come in between your connection because of the other parent, not because of the children. But they are bound to this family and they are bound to their children. I feel like they're even a good parent. All right, so let me clarify that. Um, <laughs> King of Pentacles in reverse, yeah. So they have been a good parent father and protector and provider to one family and have neglected you and so they want forgiveness for that all right or this is this feels like a very specific reading for maybe a few of you connecting to a leo because this definitely feels like a, a situation where there's an ex-wife or ex-husband or some sort of ex and they share children with them and it's a really hard time trying to co-parent because that person could be jealous of you that person could start fights with you and so they're wanting to be this king of pentacles to their children and to their family still but they feel like when they do that they end up neglecting you because they put so much of their time and investment into their family all right so those are the messages that I have for those of you connecting to a leo divine masculine guys don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and I will talk to you soon. Hello to those of you connecting to an Aries Divine Masculine. These are messages from your Aries, what they want you to know, what they want to say to you, how you, uh, how they feel about you. Um, these will just be messages that they want to come through. Um, if you are an Aries Divine Masculine, this could be confirmation that this is how you feel about your Divine Counterpart. Or these are things that you want to say to your Divine Counterpart, okay? So, I'm just going to make sure I get a really good shuffle for all of the energies here. So that we can have um, nice, clear messages. All right, little bit of shuffle. All right, guys, don't forget that if you're here, make sure you check out the Aries August 2020 reading that can resonate with you or your person as well if you need something more uh, specific. All right, so let's go ahead and um, get into it. So what does your Aries Divine Masculine want you to know? What do they want to say to you? Leaving you was a mistake. All right. I'm not giving up on us. I respect you so much. 
I can't make any promises right now. I feel you every day. I'm happiest when I'm with you. All right. So let's see what's going on with the first message. Leaving you was a mistake. So your Aries Divine Masculine walked away and regretted it. All right. They, you guys could have gotten into an argument. You guys could have had a disagreement about the direction of your connection, where this relationship was going, if there was going to be a solid commitment, if you guys were going to keep it casual, something where it got too much and they left and now they're regretting it. Two of Cups. They love you. They realize that this is a once in a lifetime opportunity to have this mutual, wonderful type of love where both people are equally pouring into each other, where the feelings are shared and mutual and strong and soulful and spiritual. All right. So this is a spiritual union between two people. Um, they know that leaving you was a mistake. And they feel like they're never going to do that again. They want to hold on to you. Look how they're holding hands. Look how they're uh, receiving energies from each other. All right. You do something to this person's heart where it's like, I don't ever want to be disconnected from them again. I don't care what we fight about. I don't care what we disagree about. And we're going to see that in the next message. I'm here with this person. I'm holding on to them. All right, this is a once in a lifetime uh, love that you guys have. They realized that they made a mistake. Okay, so Aries taking ownership. Page of Wands. This feels like this was a fresh journey for them. Like this, it, feel, it almost feels like they didn't know how to really receive this this strong soul twin flame type of love right because this page of wands they they dream about it they think about it they are inspired by it but i think they never felt that it would happen for them and so when they did walk away or when things did get hot, hot and heavy or you guys were moving super fast and everything was accelerated it almost felt like I need to, this is, this is way too new for me. I'll be no good at this, right? They started doubting themselves. Now they realize that that was a mistake, all right? So I'm not giving up on this, all right? So again, they're holding on to you. They're not ready to give up. Okay, that's a lot of messages, but I did see the Queen of Cups. So um, your Aries is... All right, so I'll take these. I'll take both of these. Queen of Pentacles, lovers, period. They're not going anywhere. Your Aries Divine Masculine with this Queen of Pentacles is loyal. They appreciate your presence in their life. They appreciate what you have, uh, how you have made them feel more of worth. I feel like this relationship has made them recognize the value that they can bring to this relationship and to the world as a whole. You know, they feel really good. They feel really loved on by you. They feel nurtured by you. They feel like they matter when it comes to you. And so when this person is saying, I'm not giving up on us with the Queen of Pentacles, who's already about loyalty and commitment, this is a commit somebody who is is about marriage. All right, your Aries Divine Masculine is thinking about marriage. They're thinking about the long term. Of course, they want to provide that stability for themselves individually, but they want to have it to be able to share with you. Lovers, all right? So this is something that they have wanted all of their life. Remember with that page of Pentacles, it was like, I dream about this. I'm inspired when I see other couples. I want this. Now they have this. And so it doesn't feel like they're going to break free from this. They're too closely bonded. This is a, an intense connection. You guys could be have like the best intimacy. All right. Look how sensual and passionate these energies are. All right. You guys are people who are very affectionate and you guys just love on each other and can't keep your hands off of one another. They're not leaving that behind again. All right. 
I respect you so much. They respect you. They respect the impact that you've had on them. They respect what you have brought to their life. Again, their value has, they feel like they've been validated by you in a way. All right. Ace of Pentacles. More new, fresh energy, new beginning. They can't wait to start their life with you in the right way. To plant this seed and to see where it goes. But this is the seed of stability. This is the seed of abundance. That queen of pentacle is abundant. They feel abundant and full and satisfied loving you and having you love them. And so they respect you so much. They respect this seed that you planted in their head about I may have never thought about marriage before, but with this person, now I'm thinking about it. I didn't think that I was lovable, but this person makes me feel loved. Maybe I am lovable with this Ace of Pentacles here. Maybe I am somebody who can go out there and, and um, pursue my dreams and actually win. Maybe I can grow. Okay, and so I feel like you've brought all this possibility in this person just by recognizing their potential. I feel like they're grateful for you, those of you connecting to an Aries. So clarifying that with the Queen of Pentacles. Some of you are Capricorns or Earth signs. This, these are really beautiful messages from your Aries Divine Masculine because they you can tell they just feel loved by you. And Aries is a very masculine uh hard kind of energy and so this is their you bring out their softer side you bring out their softer side and so they respect you because you're loyal they respect you because you respect yourself you you command and demand respect yourself you're a successful person at whatever you do you're a helpful person you're great you're um you're 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 very appreciative you don't mind helping people. You don't mind helping them. You're a good listener, right? And so they can see themselves having a future with you, all right? Um, I can't make any promises right now, all right? So there are definitely some blockages with this Aries Divine Masculine where they're not comfortable making promises about the future. They just know that they see it and they want it with you. Um, they don't know how things are going to go with a particular situation. They could be waiting to see what, what's going to happen with something first, five of wands. They may have a really um, combative like work environment or a really combative family environment where there are people around them who are super competitive, who bring out this really ugly side of them. And so that's why they feel like they can't make any promises. There's just this tenseness right now in their life. There's this tense um, energy with the people around them that could be causing problems. There are just people they don't get along with. They don't want you to fall into that that category. I feel like that sometimes they even try to stay away from you if they know they're having conflict in their life because they don't want you to be around that. All right. So they can't make any promises. This could also be somebody with a temper. They could be going really slow when it comes to their growth and and this love is changing them and you are transmutating them into this really mature, wonderful person. Um, but they could still have some old ways when it comes to fighting or being really aggressive that they're not um, able to promise that they can change, you know, just overnight. Right. Um, yeah. Seven of Wands. This is a feisty Aries Divine Masculine. <laughs> Um, they have a temper. They have a temper. They want to protect you from that. They want to keep you from that. They also feel this conflict because they want it. They feel like that's a big part of who they are. You know, you could get into it with this Aries and they could say things like, well, that's just who I am. You're going to have to deal with it. Seven of Wands, standing up for yourself against others. Having integrity. Um, there could be a lot here about, yeah, there could be a lot here about like this competitive vibe. They could be, I can't make any promises right now. I can't promise you that I'm not going to see other people in your life as threatening to our relationship. 
if you have coworkers that have a crush on you or people that they know that like you, they could be very combative towards those people. All right. I feel you every day. Of course they do. You're like the queen of pentacles. They feel the love. Like I said, you guys are a couple that loves on each other. They feel you, queen of wands. <laughs> this is passion. This is passion. All right? They feel your warmth. They feel your aura everywhere. You are incredibly fiery yourself. Some of you are fire signs, right? And so they feel this energy that you have. You have an abundant personality where it's like, they're like, oh, I hit the jackpot. I have somebody who is, uh, you know, uh, materially secure and good with their finances. And I have somebody who's super sexy and who has amazing energy, very charismatic, very funny, very outgoing. They stop the show when they enter the room. You know, I don't even think I need to clarify that, but I will. All right. So they, they feel you. Knight of Cups. They feel you. They love you. They have very, very intense feelings towards you, especially when it comes to like sexually and sensually. They can't stop thinking about it. It makes them want to offer you things. It makes them want to gift you with things. And I want to take them out. I want to. Um, I just want to call them. I just want to hear their voice. That's the type of person this Aries Divine Masculine is. They just want to hear your voice. They want to feel you, even if they can't see you, even if you guys are social distancing, even if you guys are, you know, distant right now because you had a disagreement about something and you need time to cool off. They definitely still feel you and it's nothing but great feelings. All right. I'm happiest when I'm with you. Yeah, why wouldn't they be? You're the queen of pentacles, queen of wands. You nurture them in more ways than one. So you nurture their body and, and you, success, you successfully satisfy their body. You also satisfy their soul. Okay, so of course they're happiest when they're with you. You have a great personality. Devil. They're, they're too attached to you sometimes. That could be, that could, that could be with this, this really, um, fiery wand energy is about to, right? This is nobody's gonna, I'm not gonna let anybody get close to my person. All right. You could be dealing with a very jealous, uh, Aries. And so they're happiest when they're with you to show up with the devil. This feels like attachment. This feels like they're super attached to you. They want to be up under you. They want to be around you all the time. They want to feel your energy. And of course, that leads to codependency. So when you're not with this person, they assume that you're with someone else. For some of you, they assume that you're dating. They assume that you're cheating. All right. That can be an issue in this relationship. Jealousy. Okay. Let's clarify that devil. Whoa. Star. They're happiest with their, when they're with you. They need to have a little more faith in you because yes, some of them are so possessive and obsessive over you. They can't imagine, and you're so beautiful and so sexy and charismatic. They can't imagine that you aren't doing anything when you're not with them. They can't imagine that you're staying faithful. And so I think this is an acknowledgement from your Aries that they need to have a little bit more faith in themselves. And they also need to heal <laughs> these darker sides of them that cause them to to be jealous and to be argumentative and competitive and overly possessive of you. So I do feel like they're acknowledging that that's something that they need to start working on as far as healing. They could have trust issues. All right. Okay, guys, that is what I have for those of you connecting to an Aries Divine Masculine. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, guys. Check out the other um, messages. Also, don't forget to check out the Aries uh, reading for 2020. That may also resonate with you and your situation with your person. And I will talk to you guys soon. Hello to those of you connecting to a Sagittarius Divine Masculine. So if your person is a Saggy, 
a Sag, these are the messages for you. Um, this can resonate if they're a Sag, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising. I am tapping in and channeling messages from masculine energy, so it's not meant to resonate in the reverse, the reverse, guys, but apply it how it does resonate, all right? I am going to see what they're feeling about you, what they want to say to you, what's going on, see what's going on in your connection, all right? These are general messages. They may not resonate with everyone, but they will resonate with someone. So let's see what these Divine Masculine Sagittarius have to say. The only way to protect you is to stay away. All right, we have, you are so beautiful. Nice. I feel like that came out with the in the last Sag Divine Masculine message. Someone else has my heart right now and that message. I know for a fact that one came out. So that's still the case. All right, I'm trying so hard. I do it for us, and I'm going to get one more. Don't give up on me. So you guys are connecting to a Sagittarius who is either still connecting to someone else or who has someone from their past they're trying to let go of, they can't let go of because they're bound financially or they have kids or something but there's definitely, I feel like this has been the message for the Sagittarius Divine Masculines for the past couple of reads. So I'm getting the feeling here, this Sagittarius is still really struggling to let go of a of someone who they still love. The reason why they're having a hard time letting go is because they still love them. So let's start with the only way to protect you is to stay away. All right, let's clarify this message. They feel like you're better off without them. They want to protect your energy, respect your space. Um, the emperor, this came out in reverse, even though I'm not doing reversals. So um, I am going to do upright, but I will say that this coming out in reverse is, I feel like this person thinks they know what's best for you. All right. This is a little bit of ego here saying, well, I know what's best for them. So I'm going to stay away because that's me protecting them. And you could feel like there needs to be some sort of explanation or conversation here, some respect and consideration of your feelings that you don't feel like you're getting. But for the Sagittarius Divine Masculine to be showing up as the emperor with the only way to protect you is to stay away. It's almost like this. This is a fatherly energy. Like I'm going to make the decision to stay away because I make all the decisions. I'm responsible for your feelings. I'm trying not to hurt you. I'm trying to protect you because the emperor can represent protection. Um, so I feel like they definitely feel like this is, this is them doing the right thing. Okay. However you perceive it, they do believe that this is genuinely the right thing for them to be doing. So I'm going to clarify that. If you haven't heard from them, they feel like that's the right thing. If they're not being open and honest, they feel like that's the right thing. Page of Wands in reverse. So having the Emperor and the Page of Wands in reverse, this is not, this is somebody who has basically sort of cut off whatever their desires for you are, whatever passions they have for you they're not entertaining those at this time so you could feel really emotionally neglected right really unsatisfied and so that was a part of the twin flame collective reading was that the feminine was not feeling satisfied so you guys could take a look at that reading as well this Sagittarius is, is, is kind of in a low vibrational energy where they feel like they're protecting you. And some of them genuinely might because they don't want you to see this side of them that is being led by their ego and their selfishness and their greed, wanting to have things their way, despite your feelings. With this page of wands in reverse, this is, you know, I, I'm, I had, this idea of how I thought things should go. It's not working out. Um, this is also a lack of direction, a lack of clarity and a lack of focus. So they're not really thinking and considering and being focused on you and what you need. They're kind of just focusing on them and what they need right now. All right. Um, you are so beautiful. Okay. So let's get clarity for that. It's like, 
they want to sweeten you up, you know, at times by complimenting you and telling you how beautiful you are. Temperance. This is their energy. This is, this is how they feel they balance the situation for it. I love that this temperance came out with that because this feels like I'm extreme. You know, they're acknowledging in on one hand that they are extreme, this extremely direct, bold character. But the nice side of me, <laughs> the sweet side of me can still acknowledge that you are very beautiful. This is how I balance myself out. This is how I moderate that ego of mine. Yes, I do do things my way and I feel like I know what's best for us as a, as a duo or as a unit. But you're beautiful. You know, it's like, it's almost like this person raises hell when it comes to you. They, they give off these, these bad vibes at times, the Sagittarius and they argue with you. They fight with you. They, they put their, their stick in the mud. They put their foot down and what they say goes, but then they try to come around and heal the situation by letting you know how beautiful you are. Um, letting you know, for some of you, what you mean to me, what you mean to them or what that means to them. Let's clarify this temperance. Five of swords. It's self-serving. They're still doing it for themselves. They're, they want to get back in your good graces. They know all they have to do is come back just even with the sense that I, I want to make things right with this temperance. I, I want to make, and they do have that in them because they are represented by temperance. So there is this sense that when they've overdone it, they're not comfortable and they need to go make the situation right. However, making this situation right being with that five of swords means that this person um, still does things for self-serving purposes. They want to make things right so that they can have access to you again. All right. They're telling you you're beautiful and they're complimenting you because they need to get back into your good graces and get back into your life. All right. Overall, that can make you feel really defeated. You know, it's like you're telling me I'm beautiful. You're complimenting me, but it's not enough. I want to feel that way, too. I don't want you to just say those words. All right. Someone else has my heart right now. This one for me is not always about a third party, but this has shown up in the Sagittarius Divine Masculine's energy for some time. And so I am compelled to believe that there is someone else in the picture, whether it's somebody that they haven't got over, whether it's somebody that they are connecting to and con connecting to now while they're connecting to you. This is somebody that has a piece of their heart. All right. At the very least, Eight of Swords, they're trapped. They can't do anything because they feel stuck to this person. They feel stuck to their circ to the situation, their circumstances. They feel helpless. They wish they could change things. They wish they could do things differently, but right now they can't. And so, you know, someone else having their heart right now is putting you both in this position, uh, this position of feeling like, what do I do? What's next? All right. And, and what ends up happening is you both kind of don't make any changes. You just stay stuck to the situation as it is, <clears throat> which makes you feel even more powerless because you haven't taken any action in the opposite direction. So they're staring, staying stuck to their situation. And for a lot of you, you're staying stuck to them. All right. You're not seeing the reality of the situation. All right, so let's clarify that message. Seven of Wands in reverse. This makes you agitated. This makes you frustrated. This makes you very angry. Okay, this makes you very angry. You guys come at each other's throats because of this person, this third party, whatever this is. If this is somebody from their past that had a major impact on them and they can't stop talking about them, they still um, connect with them. They still love them. They still could even have feelings for them. This pisses you off and you guys get into it. And it almost feels like this cycle where if you bring it up, it starts a fight. If you ignore it, it'll eventually start a fight because you bring it up. And the fact that you try to ignore it in the next argument. 
And so it's a lose-lose situation because there is no sense of clarity here. And so you guys just take it out on each other. Your Sagittarius wants you to know they're trying so hard. All right, so let's see. Whoa. I'm taking all three of these. We have the Hierophant, the Three of Wands, and the King of Wands. Ooh. Which could represent their energy. Wow, that just flew out of my hand. Give me a second, guys. All right. Um... All right, so we again, we have the Hierophant, the Three of Wands, and the King of Wands. I'm trying to get these cards together. Okay, so let's break this down. They're trying very hard. <laughs> They're trying to get in touch with their spiritual side with this Hierophant here. This is a very traditional Sagittarius. So even if they have this tendency to be dishonest and to be disloyal, that goes against the nature of who they are and the nature of who they truly know they can be with this temperance, all right? Being guided by the angels, being guided by their higher self. So I do feel like they're trying to get more spiritually full so they can figure out what they need to do, how they need to move forward in this situation with you and just in general, because they, they come off as very egotistical and very inconsiderate of your feelings, to say the least. I do feel like there's a lot of underlying stuff here. There's a lot of deeper hurt here with this Sag and, and ways that they have hurt you. But at the very least, they are being currently led by ego. And so this Three of Wands and this King of Wands, it's almost like there's this sense that they understand they could be so much better. They could be somebody who can give you the passion and the love that you need with this king of wands this three of wands is recognizing there's something better I'm waiting for their ships to come in it's like they're waiting for themselves to grow up they almost want you to wait until they become the masculine the divine masculine that you both feel like they can be but um and they're trying you know these messages came out with i'm trying so hard um, it's almost like they have this primal energy to where their lower nature can sometimes take over. They get greedy, they get lustful, and they feed into those energies. They don't think about your feelings. But there's also a sense that they can be the king of their circumstances. They can be the king of their feelings. They can master their passions. And, 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 channel that into creative endeavors as opposed to possibly sexual ones which feels like is the problem here all right so i do it for us you're inspiring them to do better you know they're they're a piece of work but you are inspiring them to do better the devil um yeah, so th they're still greedy and lustful and, and, and have all of these obsessive uh, kind of qualities about them that don't complement who they truly are. Um, I also feel like you could be a little obsessed with them. I feel like they know they can lure you in with the compliments and they can lure you in. You guys may be a couple that fighting makes you more attracted to each other. This is definitely a sense that there's a codependency in the relationship. You can't be without what you feel is their protection and comfort and they can't be without what they feel for you, uh, they get from you is their access and possibly their comfort, the way you make them feel. So there's a sense that there's a this is a codependent connection where both of you guys have work to do individually. Um, mm -hmm. Nine of Cups, Greed, Gluttony. <laughs> you guys, it's almost like I want to say there's a sense that you guys bring out the worst in each other. You know, just being honest, there is a sense for some of you, this won't resonate for all of you guys, um, but for some of you, there's a sense that you guys bring out each other's like, 
worst sides. And so with this nine of cups in reverse, what we have here is complacency. There's comfort in this codependency. There's comfort in, in feeling like, oh, I got what I wanted, so I don't need to do anything else. I don't need to obtain a 10th cup. I'm satisfied right here with the bare minimum. All right. And um, it almost feels, because this is clarifying, I do it for us. It almost feels like this Sagittarius's message to you is that I'm never going to let you go. You're never going to let me go. Um, I am trying, but I'm still going to be who I am or I'm still going to do what I want to do. Um, and this is what's best. Again, going back to this emperor thinking they know what's best for you and the relationship, right? If you just let me be free and let me do my own thing, um, that, that works out better for us. That works out better for our connection. Don't give up on me. <laughs> they don't want you to give up on them. That's for sure. They want more chances with you. Four of Swords. They don't want you to go anywhere. They want you to relax. They could say that to you. Relax. It's not that big of a deal. Um, They also don't want you to give up on them because they could feel like you... If they, they are really this extreme and, and this egotistical and for some of you guys as masculines, you could be the only thing that keeps them from actually getting more extreme and going more over the edge and being more egotistical and, and possibly narcissistic to the point where they're not even lovable. Um, this Four of Swords is about healing. It's about taking a step back. So they don't, they're, they're like, yes, you can take time away from me. Yes, I know you need to heal because I put you through so much. Just don't give up. All right. Don't stay asleep on me. Okay. I'm going to clarify that message. Ten of swords. If you end things with them, this is how they're going to feel. If you guys are on a break right now, on a hiatus, if some of you even ended things with this Sagittarius, this Ten of Swords is how they feel. And they're having a hard time healing without you there. I don't think they're ready to accept accountability for their actions yet. It feels like they're still very much defending who they are as a person. But there is a sense that inside they feel helpless some of them they'll feel dead inside right with this ten of swords they can't see the sun coming up the sun shine rising also for a lot of you if you give up on them they'll say things like thanks for turning your back on me you know you you left me hanging you you stabbed me in the back you betrayed me you're not loyal to me you know they'll try to guilt you all right. So those are behaviors to be, you know, really aware and, and careful of when it comes to this particular Sagittarius divine masculine. All right. All right, guys, that is what I have for those of you connecting to a Sagittarius. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and I will talk to you guys soon.